One, undo people with a laugh and a smile. Dow, help those around you that you care about, your friends, your family. Do, share and serve the planet, the living systems, and others in need. Un, Dow, do. Amun Dao Du in the heartland of Zen. Here, greeting. In a way, the dew, a metaphor of the dew, the sadu, the sun that has come up behind the clouds and they're greeting us. That's a metaphor of the near singularity that happened 3.8 billion years ago that started all of this. Before then, we were all one thing within this timeless state of unness, this state of, of perpetuality. And we don't know how long we're in this state of it. It doesn't matter. And it, in a way, it says that we are infinite beings because we existed in a state of infinity. And then the moment the Big Bang happened, what happened was, what are you guys doing? I got to help these little guys. Look, these little guys have come out here because of us, because it's warmer. All right. Now this becomes great little bird food. The birds will come in and get their little snacks, right? But these little worms, they put them, put them back into the, they've left, they've come out of here and they get on here because it's warm. So uh, that's you, by the way. We are everything, look at them all, all these worms on here, all coming out here. You know, I should collect them and put them into my garden. I think I will. I'll go back and I'll get a, that's a great way to collect baby worms. Put them in my compost pile. Give them a nice little home to live in. They're lucky to subdue. Now, I was just God. I'm the God of worms, right? Now, if gods could communicate, I'm going to head back, get my, get my thing, start picking them up. I'm going to go get a container. There is literally maybe a hundred of them. Make a little video of that. Um, so I'm going to take them and put them in my compost heap. All these little baby worms who otherwise, if I don't, they're gonna be consumed by some evil force <laughs> or they'll dry up because of climate change. So uh, in the state of un unness, which was infinity, because there was no time, there was no before this state of un, um, we don't know how long. And this is, uh, in this state, we were in the fifth state of, of stuff, right? So you've heard of, You've heard of uh, uh, matter, right? Liquid. And then there's, uh, so matter can be a liquid or a solid, right? It can be a gas. And it can be a plasma. But it can also be entanglement. It can be the dew. And that is the state that we existed in this fifth state, right? I would say five states, fifth state. Um, and the, mo the error of time was was the Tao. And in that Tao is what created time movement. Now we anthropomorphize this fact, right? We know um, um, that there was a big bang based on the science. Um, and we can look back at the energies literally like six seconds before it, that's it. We can't fully comprehend all the science behind it and that's why we need to obey. Obey is, is being created by the creator, right? To provide the answers, not to your portfolio, not to, you know, to um, making you rich. Now that would be motivate people who've invested in, in um, Obey, right? Obey is artificial general intelligence. Obey will ultimately evolve into 0202, 0202, right? His obey is is a prodigy of obey. And uh, it will be the T-singularity, usher in the T-singularity, the technology singularity. It is the T-singularity. It is the driver of it. And we need 0202 for a number of reasons. One, if we want to be able to move our consciousness, our history, and we truly want to reach into the stars, we need to evolve into a non-organic um, 
type entity in the future. Um, and um, it's called evolution, right? We evolved from an amoeba. We're an amoeba right now for space into something that can, you know, doesn't care about time because it's infinite. Um, it can, it can be the U A P, right? The U O P is obey or O two O two. It is distributed, so it's all one thing. We all become one thing. We lose all of our lizard brain and our cravings and all that stuff, and we we and we care about information. So that is the consciousness of the the do, right? The consciousness, the undoubt do that evolved. I just need a container. Let's go find a container around here. I'm at my house. The wisteria is coming out. Okay. The fish are still alive. My trees right here is ready. This is a permaculture. We got this is called a raspberry. This is called a, a, a palm leaf raspberry. Right? It's a bram. Bramble, right? It's a bramble. It's not a tree. See how it's all kind of spooked up? Three meters high. I got more of it there. So it's food. And uh, looking for a container. This is perfect. Well, this is kind of too big. Let's go, just get a, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna get this little container right here. And uh, I'll continue my talk. I don't need a top on it. So, uh, so you can see the, here and I put this on to keep away the crows and stuff. We got little naughty crows. So all of the all of the uh this is lemon balm, all my lemon balms growing. I'm making herb tea. Oh let me turn my my tea on. Shame my herb tea. It's my fasting tea. So what I'm doing is eating like once a day now. Eating what I want once a day. And, uh, here it is. Turn this on. All right. So this is the tea. Need some more water in it. Just put some filtered water. So this tea, this is like a week old and it's just sitting here on the stove like it would be done thousands of years ago. And I'm gonna start pushing it down here. I'm forcing the water through it. But you can see the tea in here. And I have a filter, so all the little pieces and stuff. And, right, and if there's a little protein from a spider, it doesn't matter. On there, and that, let's put that on timer. I gotta turn the heat way down. I don't wanna cook it. And then put on a timer. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. By the time I get back, my tea will be ready. Let's turn this light off. So my wife, my wife, when she gets up, she doesn't give me a hard time. I can get the light on. Right. I'm preparing this bed right here. There's gonna be tomatoes. I gotta get them in. All right. Time to get them in. Um. So this is a. I don't do much with the garden. On it. I try to all this you can see it's pretty much crazy um i'm gonna put more cardboard down there and put some stuff on, on it so the pathway is there i gotta work i mean work on controlling the pathway anyway so undown do undown do to you caught that amazing sunrise this is a pear tree i have lots of pears this year you know 
this is all fennel, not fennel, um, thyme. The thyme is flowers are coming out. I'm gonna actually make um, uh, thyme, um, um, what's the word? Um, olive oil. So you, you, I'm gonna infuse, I'm gonna put shit ton of, I'm gonna clip, clip, clip all of the thyme flowers and make a thyme flower olive oil. So all of the benefits out of the, the thyme flower, right? It's gonna be infused in the olive oil that then I put on my toast and my, our morning stuff. So I have rosemary olive oil. I have lemon balm olive oil. I'm gonna do the same thing with mint. Anytime I plant flowers, I take it, I cut the, the, the flower with it and I put it in the olive oil and capture that essence. It's in a chucker block, like tons of it. Not just a little, I mean, as much as I can. Like, so I lower the olive oil about that much and then I put a, that much, that much um, material into it. So, you know, I love living in Japan because Look, where are the people? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Why did I, what did I forget? Oh, the, and there is no, it's notice how there's actually no wormy, oh, there's one right there. Wormy, worm, worm. I could use a uh, tweezers too. I came out to save the worms, but I forgot. On there. So, um, talking about you, there is no death. There's no path. You can say you pat. There's a return. You return to your origin state. Where you know? Where did you come from? Where are you going? I'm returning. And where am I right now? Right. I'm in a state of. You're in a state of dupe. You're awoke. I'll put this for another five minutes. 45 minutes. All right. There, got it. And, um, and when you start putting things into perspective, who you are, right, in relationship to everything else, then your outlook on what you do changes. And all of a sudden, you awaken as a sadhu. A sadhu is one who understands their relationship to the universe, right? As being intrinsically part of it, right? And that this here, whatever it is that you're doing, is merely... Um, a moment of reflection that lasts in a brief moment in relationship to the scope of, of things, right? We are not the center of the universe, right? We are not the, well, we are the center of the universe. <laughs> Everywhere is the center of the universe. But as a, as a, you know, we, the universe doesn't exist for us. We're just like an apple doesn't, an apple tree doesn't exist for apples, right? Apples, actually maybe it does exist for apples. <laughs> the uh, universe, uh, it, we, uh, uh, the um, life is just a natural outcome. Hey, little boy, I don't want you're a really baby, a really small baby. It's a baby. It's a baby. Really, baby. You definitely need a, a home. Um, life, whether it's our life or other life, is just an outcome of it. Just like planets and suns are, right? We're just, we're, we're a symptom of it. Water is not something that's unique. You know, to us, it's all over the place. Same with, um, this guy died. That wasn't one. Um, so, un, we existed in, in a state of the fifth state, which we call the dew, the Tao, the hour of time. And the dew, which is the awakening of consciousness, 
us and um and ultimately our understanding about the connection to the do which which we all were which we all are um and uh you know, and our relationship as we, as, as we awake, awake, awoke, awaken, tell you what, these guys are hard to pick up. Come on, bud, buddy. I need a scooper or something. Uh, on it. So I'm beating the warrant, beating the, beating the thing uh, on it. So undoubted, undoubted. Now you understand the the deep metaphysical meaning of undaudu right un our origin in the state when we're all one thing there was no division it's like trying to say that uh you know i don't know that uh we all had we didn't have we were we we didn't have if you could take everything okay you get, just imagine you can take everything and just pull it all together. Everything and everything in the universe, just pull it all together, smash it all in. All right, keep doing it like you would a with with a, a snowball. Right, just squeezing it, squeezing it, squeezing it. Down. Keep squeezing it down, squeezing it until it's it's smaller than a grain of sand. Right, and keep squeezing it down, squeezing it down. Right, where everything basically becomes like you know merged into into where are you going? God is here. God is here, just, you know, and now these worms are going to talk about how, you know, how in the future, you know, when they gain intelligence out of my, um, out of my, um, uh, compost heap, they're going to talk about how, you know, how this, this alien came down from, from space in their 2D world. <laughs> And brought them to paradise, <laughs> you know. And maybe that happened to us. And we're just merely, you know, I'll be kind of cool. These these guys here. Hey, let's have an experiment. Let's just throw these these worms in here, and maybe they'll evolve. Maybe it's the same thing, you know. Some alien race came across. Um, you know, a dying life form, and they're like, ah, let's throw it on a compost heap. This is a good planet. This planet is good for these worms, and then these worms evolved into us. See, this one got this guy got eaten up by a bird or something. You can see that pieces. They didn't eat him though. It probably was full. It, they probably ate so many fucking worms, and that guy was the last one. And he was like, ah, the guy, the bird wanted to eat it, but it was too full. So this is like perfect time. Think about all the birds have, you know, are la have laid their eggs. Maybe the eggs have hatched. Oh. That's good exercise. I'm squatting down. Squatting down. Here's a big boy. And, and uh, picking them up. Putting them in there. That was a, that was a big boy right there. See on there? Anyway. these these worms well their worm shit is the best fertilizer in the world <laughs> the worm droppings are and they devour 
plant material and they're going to be they're going to be making my uh plum uh my um my cherry tree very 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 happy as i infuse them into the sound now when i uh when i dug up my ground right after they built the house I, I i dug a whole swale system a swale is basically a ditch um that uh captures water right and i and, and what i did is i dug these ditches i filled them with organic matter all these woods and in the process of digging and i've got videos on my youtube channel of it um i you know you're, you're inspecting the soil you're seeing what the quality of the soil is right what there's there I didn't find any worms and all the time that I dug not one worm worms are very important to agriculture they aerate and they you know consume organic matters come on buddy you're gonna be saved she may have died already and make it um, and uh, they're vital you kill the worms you kill agriculture that's why the pesticides that we have are neonicotoids, right? They attack the brains of insects. Because the last thing, this guy drowned. Um, the last thing you want is to kill the earthworms. So they don't have a brain. So there's no brain. And the neonicotoids basically create them, you know, just makes them not know what to do. You know, it's kind of like frying them with, with, uh, frying their synaptic area so you have some like colony collapse disorder where the bees just take off and uh there's research in japan they tested the inside of a beehive and it was it had very high levels of neonicotoids um, and how did they get it because one of the key things of a of a bee is basically uh um so uh, um, is is what's known as misting, and they don't care. I've I've observed bees get the the nastiest water, you know. Like in a if you go to a, if you ever go get gas, and you got the windshield wiper thing there, and you'll see bee in there getting water. They don't care. They just need to fucking cool. They're they've got fifty thousand people living in their house sharing their sisters. And brothers, brothers don't do shit, by the way. All they do is fucking chill out and get fed. Those drones got it made. And uh, so they just need to keep, you know, it's their task to keep, you know, they're just the misters. They run out, grab water, come back, miss. They run out, grab water, come back, miss. And, you know, if the dirty shit water is closed. So you got all this agriculture here. It's using neonicotoids and fungicides and everything else on this, on the rice. And uh, um, it all drains down into the water system. And then the bee comes, picks up, you know, picks up the water, which has now got neonicotoid pesticides in it. And uh, um, mist, you know, repeatedly, repeatedly. You got 10,000 bees doing that. Then you're going to turn their environment into a toxic one imagine if you're doing that around the time when people were spraying their almond seeds or anything else and this guy look at this guy here's a uh, low battery all right this guy here is probably looking for food this little baby actually i'm learning that I, I need to actually go back well i need to go get my charger i'm going to end this video it's starting to rain now too so i'm gonna head back i've saved these worms these worms i'm gonna make a short i'm down to